Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch to iOS 9 using the built-in over-air update feature. Now before you get started with this update, you do want to make sure your device is prepared for it. So I created a video right here. If you haven't prepared your phone, go ahead and check that out. This will ensure that the update runs smoothly and you don't lose any of your files, contacts or anything like that. Once you've done that, return to this video and let's get started with the iOS 9 update. Now assuming you did go through the preparation video and you've backed up your files and your device, what you want to do first is tap on settings, tap on general, and then tap on the software update tab. Now you can begin the update process of iOS 9. Now you can tap the learn more section here to read more about this update. I will be doing a feature video on the features of iOS 9, but to install it, you just wanna tap download and install, and it's going to go through a couple of pages. We'll tap agree, we'll tap agree again, and it should start requesting the update. Now there have been errors reported with this, so just be patient with it. If it doesn't work, try the iTunes method. There's a link in the description for you with a full tutorial on how to install and update iOS 9 through iTunes. Now during this process, you'll be able to see how long it's gonna take you. You won't be able to update if you're not connected to Wi-Fi, and if you have less than, I believe, 50% battery, you will need to connect it to the charger. I would strongly recommend connecting to the charger anyway. And if it does take a little bit longer, just wait. If it starts to be extreme, like you're waiting hours and hours, let me know in the comment box down below and I'll see if I can find you guys a fix. All right, so it is completed. iOS 9 will begin installing in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll go ahead and just tap install to get it going right now. And the process took about 20 minutes. Like I said before, if it takes a really long time, then contact me, but it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes to an hour. And it also depends on how many people are installing it at once. So there it is, the update of iOS 9 has completed. You'll have to go through the initial setup process once again. So just enter your password, go through everything. You'll see the update has completed, tap continue, go through it all. Once you get here, tap get started, and you should have iOS 9 installed on your iOS device. And we'll just check software update once again, and you can see iOS 9 is installed. So if you followed everything correctly, you should have a fresh install of iOS 9 on your iOS device. If anything did go wrong during the process, feel free to ask me in the comment box and I'll definitely do my best to help you out. But like I said, if this process doesn't work, go ahead and click the video in the description down below. It'll take you to the iTunes update method, which is a little bit safer, a little bit cleaner, and it should work and fix any of the issues you may have with the over air feature. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share it on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.